everybody, it's Sports Summer Mercado Lightborn, and yes, let me tell you that Ted, New England Patriots, Mackey is celebrating today. He's a year older. Now the question is, is he a year better? I take the fifth on that one, okay? Well, the second annual St. George's Invitational Golf Tournament, all systems go this coming Saturday. The Grand Lucayne Golf Course is going to be a great event. The St. George's Memorial Golf Tournament is coordinated by the Grand Bahamas Sports Promotion Association and Fred Sturb is excited to once again coordinate the tournament. We had some 52 players last year and we felt very good about that and based on the listing thus far, the tournament coordinator um, Ambrose has told me that we can expect uh, over 60. So we're satisfied that this event um, has grown very quickly into a signature so sports social affair for Grand Bahama, and we're happy with that. The flagship sponsor is BTC. Also, the Grand Bahama Port Authority, Buckeye, and others have signed on. Vice President of BTC Northern Bahamas, Eldry Ferguson Mackey, says it's a corporate entity that believes in young people and also the community. BTC has four major brand pillars. One of them is sports and sports development. And he would have noted over the past two decades, we've played an active role in not just the uh, Nassau community, we've played that role in most of the islands in terms of our engagement and involvement in sports. You'd note that we have ambassadors that are athletes. So we all know about the Golden Boys, the Golden Girls, Ariana, etc. So we have um, quite a diversified portfolio when it comes to supporting um, sports um, in the Bahamas. The St. George's Memorial is a four-person tournament and it's being dubbed the Go for the Hole in One. You could win a thousand dollars, all compliment of BTC. Well, the Ruby Walkers completed uh, their tour over the weekend. I mean, did Hanford Bain and uh, Freddie Bobo shot two over 38. Uh, Greg Bo with the 40. Marcus Hill won the tour, folks, with 81 points. Hanford Bain second with 79.41. And Greg Bo third, 63.08. Greg Maycock, 61.5. And congratulations to Mali. He's our champion. And also the Grand Bomber Little Leaguers, uh, the under-12 baseball team back home from West Palm Beach, Florida. They were second place finishers in the West Palm Invitational. Grand Bomber defeated the Cayman Islands 20 to nothing, and then also they turned around and lost to Team USA 7 to 1. But they turned around and beat up on Russia 4 to 1 in the championship game. They lost to USA. The score now was 8 to 4. Congratulations to our kids in terms of coming back, and I did exceptionally well. The under-18 team also competed. They too had some fun over there with Canada, USA, and also with Peru. They beat Peru 9 to 6. Well, Welcome home, kids. It's great to have them here as well. Well, let me tell you that um, the new season as far as rugby is about to get underway this week, folks. Freeport's going to be on the pitch, and they've been getting ready over the last couple of weeks. The Freeport Rugby Club players on the pitch preparing for the new Bahamas Rugby Union season and with high expectation. Coach Nigel Kirkby have the players Saturdays, Tuesday and Thursday going through their paces in preparation for the November 18th season opener. Freeport will have a new look team comprising of youth and vets as due to the progressive feeder system. We have a Saturday morning program which will start next Saturday for the youth program which will be uh, from 10 o'clock onwards for all age groups from um, under 8s right the way through to under 19s, girls and boys. Um, so from that program our team is basically made up of players who have come through it. Um, we had 30 players out on Tuesday night and Thursday night practicing all different levels of ability trying to make it into the men's team and um, we're looking forward to a really good season i think the average age of our team right now is probably round about 2021 which is fantastic news for the youth real men play rugby well that's the premise of the game as it's billed as a rock'em sock'em game coach nigel kirkby says that it's not the case and the point that the game itself is total athletic development there is this big fear that it's a bit of a rough game um, and yes there's a lot of contact but it's controlled contact um, which i think what happens is when people come out and try the game they realize that it's not as crazy as it looks and i encourage you know, everyone to come out on Saturday, the November the 18th, to, to watch a game and listen and see what goes on. It's a, it's a fun game, it's a great game, and the nice thing is now is U.S. colleges are starting to give scholarships for rugby players. So this is where we're going to start looking to try and get some of our young men off to college on scholarships with their rugby playing. Freeport Rugby Club will open its new season November 18th, and on the line will be the Cup. And also, they have basically said they want to elevate from last year. And they're going to be a tough team this year. We watch them work out. They're going to be doing exceptionally well. Wish them all the luck. You got guys like Harris, and you got also uh, Bert Campbell and Nicky Munnings, who will be on the sideline as usual. And yeah, Robert Nav will be there with his big mouth. 
That's a look at sports tonight.